As you guys know, I do this every single year. We're going to be doing a what I got for Christmas and what I got myself for Christmas too. Come here. As you can see, we're home for the holidays and it was so good seeing my family. I'm sorry I didn't vlog it, but we were able to spend time with the family on my mom's side, my dad's side. Brayton and Celeste, my mom were all over. My mom made the most fire wonton soup. Oh, and I just ate it before this video, but Blue got some presents. You want to show yours first? So Blue got some presents. She got this from Brayden. She got this little doggy camera. And then this Celeste got this Hermes France. <laughs> you want one? Which one do you like more? Remember <laughs> that slush, she likes your toy more. Yeah. Don't tell Brayden. But yeah, without further ado, of course, but <laughs> joke at this point because everyone talks about this on TikTok. But of course, I'm not trying to brag. I do this every single year. You guys ask for it. And you know, it's a time for giving. We're always giving back to you guys. And we're always doing fun things for Girls Sporting Girls. Girls Sporting Girls took kind of a pause for the holidays just because we're figuring out our manufacturer right now. But I love you guys and let's get started. Celeste. <laughs> Can you do it in like 20 minutes or 10, 20 minutes? You have the whole time this entire day. Do you want to film in the 10 minutes that I'm filming? Or you want to microwave in the 10 minutes that I'm filming? Oh my God. Microwave for 10 seconds. Celeste, what did you get for Christmas? Show show us what you got in the meantime. I really can't play. This one was crazy. Mom got her this. Wait, where'd it go? Well, yeah, I took out the money. Oh, I'll <laughs> insert a video, but the, the money was coming out of here. <laughs> She got 20s in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. How much is in there? Pull me a little money to blow. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Is it because you're always sick? But okay. Now you're done your food. <laughs> Celeste's two second feature. One thing that I got for myself, and I know that there's like there's some people that say that they love it some people say that they hate it but i am reading this book icebreaker i got it for myself for christmas and i honestly i'm halfway through i kind of get the hype it's kind of good i kind of love it i think i love it because i'm canadian and it's icebreakers about a hockey player i'm a canadian I was, I was obsessed with hockey players not anymore though but this book she's really good i really like her from what i read so far recommend and then from my assistant caroline she's literally the best assistant ever and she didn't have to get me a gift but she's the best assistant ever and i love her so much she got me look at this little hello kitty plushie it's so cute oh my goodness it's so cute and like at first blue really wanted it what's this at first blue really wanted it but she realized that it was mine and it's not for her right you have so many toys and this one's for me and then she got me a hello kitty crew neck and another hello kitty crew neck and then my mom she's like adeline you have everything like seriously <laughs> <laughs> like every time I want something I end up just buying it for myself So she was like you're the worst person in Christmas shop for so instead of getting you something fun I got you something practical. So she got me this prepared hero Blanket, it's a blanket that you throw on top of a fire So she was like you just need to keep this in your kitchen. Look she even labeled it. Why did she label it? Is there like an expiry date on these things? <laughs> July 10th, 23. I don't know. My mom is crazy. But thank you, mom. <laughs> you never know. She's like, you never know. So maybe one day it'll save my life. And then she also got me some Hershey's Kisses and a cute little doggy card because of blue. She loves blue. She babysat blue. We went to Blue Mountain. <laughs> Even though there was no snow, literally no snow this year. It was so sad. And then from my secret Santa that we did with the cousins because we always do secret Santa, I got this little Hello Kitty mug still in the packaging with some Hello Kitty stickers. I knew who my secret Santa was. It was Eden because I could tell by the, the sticker, the handwriting. I was like, and she also is the worst liar ever. She was like avoiding eye contact. And I was like, I think my secret Santa is. And of course it was Eden. So, <laughs> and I got a reusable tote bag and a little card with some money. And I stole lots of Lindor chocolates because our cousins are obsessed with Lindor chocolates. So I stole them all. I also won the Christmas ornament competition, bitch. I don't know if I should even show this. This is crazy. This is the biggest prize that we've ever done. Cause I think my aunt, she just, she's 
an all or nothing type of gal. So I think last year the Christmas ornament prize was like $200. This year it was $2,000. I spent the entire, I was like, girl, don't play. I, I said, cousins, don't play because I'm, I'm not coming to play. I spent a whole day on my Christmas ornament. I could insert photos here. This is what I'm trying to make. It's a little Christmas scene and I want to add my cousins on it because they're having a baby. This is all the instructions. Apparently this is going to take me six hours. So wish me like this is the base. These are all of the things that I need to do. I need to get my glue gun. I made a mistake and I ripped that side so it's gonna be covered by the tree. Where should we put this baby on the way? Wait, should I put two or one? Okay, here we go. It's already midnight, so I'm calling it a night, but this is the final. I'm gonna add this on top. There's no blue mark. Oh no, not the double dogs. Wait, oh my god, not the toes. I need to align the toes. There we go. Ta da! Oh, is there two heads? Ah, oh, it, whatever it's gonna <laughs> It took so long. My nails are all messed up because of the glue gun. Like, I really went in with the Christmas ornaments, but I ended up winning. Ooh! Ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but I did bet we always play poker at Christmas, so I did bet a little bit at poker, but we got the prize fun right here. And isn't it so fun how Canadian money is? You know, it's so crazy. Canadian money is so different to American money, and I love it so much more because it's waterproof. It never rips because it's plastic. And if you get a new one from the store or from the bank, if you scratch it, it sometimes smells like maple syrup. I kid you not. I literally shit you not. It smells like maple syrup. Like, our money is, like, magical, and it's so pretty. But I got the prize fund. I said, F them kids, and the kids went down. <laughs> No, but everyone's ornaments were really good and I was honestly really surprised that I won. I was like, because they were like, oh, the winner is number five. And everyone was like, who's number five? Who's number five? And it ended up being me. I was like, ah! But to my aunt, love you. And you were crazy for this year for the prize money because she's she's an all or nothing person. So And the, the whole theme around the ornament, I should have said this before, but the whole theme around the ornament was my cousin is having a baby. So it was around her first baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to show Celeste got me these Hello Kitty matcha marshmallows with some Pocky sticks and a little Frenchie sticker. How cute is that? And then this I definitely got myself. White Fox had a crazy sale. I think I used my own code for 15% off a couple times, but I'm so excited to be working with them on this video because I got so many fun things from White Fox and they have the cutest dresses because I never think about New Year's. New Year's always sneaks up on me and even with like I didn't really go Black Friday shopping I just realized I was like today years old that I just realized that Americans don't celebrate Black Friday shopping or not Black Friday Boxing Day they don't do Boxing Day shopping and I guess Australia also does it but I got a couple things from White Fox for New Year's and I'm so excited to try them out and to wear them because some of the outfits are actually fucking fire where's my favorite dress here I'm so so this is the dress that I was mostly looking forward to and I'll probably be wearing for New Year's. Like how iconic is this? Silver sparkly floral mini dress. Like to me, this is so New Year's and it's so iconic. And I think it reminds me of Paris Hilton. It's New Year's. It's giving everything that it needs to give a little under boobs action. Like I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I got it and I got it before it sold out. Some more things I got were these cargo pants because I don't have a lot of clothes in Canada so it's always good to have some good old cargo pants. These pants, someone else's problem pants in gray merle. I wear these beige pants all the time. They're so cute for just lounging and traveling and they're super, super, super cozy. And I don't know if you saw, but I went to one of those spas. It's like, kind of, it's not the Scandinavians. It's one of those spas where you go in the hot, it's a Finnish spa spa where you go in the sauna i i just <laughs> learned this year that sauna is the one finnish word in the english dictionary and you pronounce it sauna but we went to the one at horseshoe and it was so gorgeous what was it called it's called veta nordic spa and it was so amazing it was in barry so it was only like an hour outside of toronto and it was the most like relaxing experience look at this we did all of this they didn't let you bring in any of your, your phone or anything but oh my god my favorite was the steam room and then also the hot rocks like oh my god everything about it and I've been trying to cold plunge a lot more cold plunging is really good for you We got a drink. We, we got some of the water bottles. Where's my water bottle? 
bottle here. I've honestly been using it. My Veda Nordic Spa water bottle. But anyways, so I know you're like, Adeline, why do you need a bathing suit? It's literally winter in Canada. This is why, look at how gorgeous. It's a sparkly bikini with the matching triangle top. It's so pretty. And then I got this black corset top and then these, these beige, pants i really love their wide leg pants they're just super cozy whenever i wear wide leg pants i'm like this is what a man feels like every single day like it's just cozy who do you think you are linen pants and oat but i just think that they're so cute and then i also got i wanted to get the matching hoodie of this but it was sold out i was so sad but i at least got the shorts they're the white fox leisure shorts and i just got them in this pink color when the hoodie comes back in stock bitch you know i'm using my own code adeline wf for 15 percent off okay <laughs> using my home code and getting it. I have my notifications on for that hoodie. And I see white boxes comments that are like, put everything back in stock because everything's sold out. I think I saw something saying that they, their Black Friday did eight times better than last year in the first day. Like, I don't know what it is. Everyone just ordered from white box this year, which obviously we love, but like, don't put everything out of stock, girl. Like, <laughs> like leave some for all of us. And then I got these pink cargo pants. They're also the wide leg. I love any wide leg pant recently. And then we got a holiday packaging. Ah, oh my God. I got this pink sparkly dress. This is another option for New Year's. I think it could be super cute. Very sparkly. It's like a pink ombre. So it's light pink on the top and then ombre darker pink on the bottom. And then this ready for tonight strapless top. This white bustier top, this yellow sundress, because how cute is that? I was obsessed with this top, this black white box top, and it says white box logo all over the top. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wear this. And this would just go with everything. And this blue floral dress, because you can always wear dresses in the winter, even with some like black tights, you know? And then this black dress, lace, dress and i saw alex earl said this was her favorite thing from white box this little bodysuit the gray was sold out so i got it in this white color but how cute but yeah thank you to white box for sponsoring today's video and if you guys do want to use my code it's adeline wf for 15 percent off all of the white box store whatever you want white box also has afterpay for us australian and new zealand customers so you can buy it now and then pay it later and white box also has express worldwide shipping but i'm so excited to wear all these for the new year but yeah, love you white fox and i'm so excited i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do for new year's but i definitely know what i'm wearing then isn't that the most important thing so <laughs> thank you white fox i love you and then the last couple things that i got for christmas i got this ferrero rocher from my mom because she loves this candy i grew up eating this candy it's like the best ever and my brother got blue these little dog treats <laughs> these little dog bones and something that i got for for myself that I've been wanting for the longest time. I just wanted a super chill travel bag because I feel like it's, I hate wearing like a designer item or like a crazy logo designer item on a plane, especially when I'm flying economy. Like something, like I know I see those like videos and it's like me with my like Birkin bag in economy and I'm like, girl, I like, I can't do it. Like I just can't do it. Like I'm like, I feel like people are looking at me and they're like, bitch, that shit is fake. And I'm like, no, I swear it's real. I just don't want to spend the money on like a five hour flight. Five hours of your life like bitch i could suck it up and i could fly economy like i don't need to be first class i don't need to be fancy i don't know so i just wanted a, a really nice travel bag or even just like nice day-to-day -day bag because you don't want to be you know in la where there's like you know sometimes it's unsafe in the city so i just wanted a really nice day-to-day -day bag and i got this bottega bag and i love it so much and i've been wearing it a lot it goes with everything and i have my black uggs i guess i could also put that in here because i got that too they're kind of messy because of the canadian winters but i got these black platforms Form Uggs. They were in stock on Amazon and they have been my savior this winter. They're just so cozy. I sometimes I don't even wear socks with them. Like they're just so cozy on the inside and they just fit everything. I mean my toes. They fit my toes and everything. I don't know what I'm saying there, but I love this bag so much because you can wear it like this, which is mostly the way that I wear it. You can also wear it with the strap down so it's a little bit longer, which I do sometimes. You can also, I've seen people wear it just kind of like with strap and then they just kind of tighten the back like this so it's a little bit more chill and it has the best 
compartments. Oh my god, I have so many receipts in here. I got all these receipts. One second. It has the best compartments. I have this little, it comes with a little zipper right here. I keep my like tied to go when I travel. You need a hand sanitizer when you travel. This is becoming a what's in my bag already. <laughs> and then my favorite lip balm the summer Fridays I got in the, the 25 day countdown Sephora advent calendar. I cannot travel without my AirPod Maxes, but this has honestly become my favorite, favorite, favorite bag. And I've been wearing it so much since I got it. So this is kind of like my little present to myself. <laughs> hey guys, I'm currently back in Orange County and I forgot to show you guys what my boyfriend got me because we opened presents early. I can't, is this okay? Because we opened presents early on Christmas. That way we wouldn't have to pack it in our big suitcases and like, you know, bring it there and then bring it back. So we ended up opening stuff early. The first thing that I got, which possibly could be my favorite, <laughs> don't tell him, is he got me this little Hello Kitty plush. How cute. It's literally just Santa Claus Hello Kitty and it's the biggest Hello Kitty plush that I have. I have her, which she's in my makeup room, but she's bigger and we keep her downstairs on the couch and she's really good at cuddling and I think it's so cute. <laughs> There's an actual Sanrio store and I did like a whole Snapchat opening it. So if you haven't already, add me on Snapchat because I've been using it a lot recently. He got me some Hello Kitty little stickers, a little keychain. What is this? Neck decolletage lift pack and then some stickers because he knows how much I love Hello Kitty and then my main gift that he got me were these Hermes sneakers I kind of already wore them that's why they're kind of messed up but these are my first ever bounce sneakers as you can see I have all the Orans I have all of the cheaper sandals but I don't have any bounce sneakers these ones were like limited edition they don't even sell these pink ones anymore the next one that I want is probably the white ones I might have to go to Hermes and get you know that little TikTok, and it's like me getting stuff that Santa didn't get me <laughs> so I might go back into Hermes but I'm obsessed with these sneakers and he totally knocked it out of the park I'm so excited Excited, and they're pink and they're cute and they'll just go I could wear it with this It could be like a pop of color I could wear it with my Constance bag with like the little Kelly's the Kelly Pochette So I'm really excited to wear it Thank you boyfriend and then some other things that I got I was so excited <laughs> Because my most recent purchase, my recent bag, is this one right here. It's this Birkin 30 in gold with palladium hardware. And I like wearing it with my Uggs. My Uggs are my favorite thing to wear it with. But I thought how cute would it be to have matching shoes. Look at this. Ah, they're so cute. They were in the dust bags when I took them out. But I forget what these are called. Does it say on here? I just looked up. These are the GG50 in the color gold with palladium hardware how gorgeous are these it's gonna look so perfect and so cute with the new bag but i just thought how cute would these be together and it would be more of like a daytime i feel like this is more of a daytime bag i have been wearing it a lot more than i thought and even my friends are like adeline i feel like this is your color like obviously black goes with everything and black is good for day and night but this is super good for like summer daytime vibes very chill and i've already been wearing this so much and I feel like I'm gonna wear it even more now that I have the matching shoes ah, so excited! oh my gosh and I feel one thing that I kind of regret is I feel like I just throw out all of my orange boxes I never really keep them like a lot of my orange boxes I even got in Paris and obviously I'm not gonna bring it from Paris because they're just boxes but so many people make cute little things with their boxes like I saw for Christmas people would make like Christmas trees with like orange boxes Sierra has a huge collection she never throws out her boxes and I'm like girl you need to make like an Hermes Christmas tree <laughs> I just always like throw my note. The only ones that I really keep are for my bags. I have like this one and then I have, you guys know I got this one from The Real Real and it came with my bag. This one didn't come with a bag uh, or a box. It just came with the dust bag, but super excited. And I don't know if I should start keeping my boxes. Is it like a waste of space? Like, I don't know. Sierra keeps like all of them in her garage and it takes up a lot of space, but I'm like, will I ever actually use it? Or like, I guess if you want to like resell stuff, but I don't know, I just throw it all out. And then next up, from Chanel, I actually have it already hanging up here. From Chanel, I got this little heart bag. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I wore it to the Mean Girls movie premiere. It's so cute. I got it from Rebag and it's just so gorgeous. Like, have you ever seen something so beautiful in your life? It opens up like this. It has the authenticity card. You can open it up like this as well. And it's very small, but you know, she gets the job done. And 
One thing that I always, I don't know, I always smell my bags and it doesn't have that like leathery, leathery smell. Cause when I bought my used bags, I always get nervous. I'm like, I hope I'm not buying like a counterfeit for the amount that I win, like an actual real one is. But I'm pretty sure Rebag is so good. Like they would, they would know. And then these, how cute. I, okay, these, this is a jewelry item and they're little Chanel hearts. Can you be, can you tell that I'm obsessed with little Chanel hearts recently? But these are the earrings. They're so 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 gorgeous you can't tell right away because when you're wearing them it kind of goes like this There's these little chanel hearts you can wear this super casual with just like a black on black and then this is the statement of the outfit like i am just so obsessed with the little chanel earrings they're so gorgeous and there's so many ways that you can wear it dress up dress down i could wear it with my hello kitty crew neck right now bitch and then i could go and wear it at the met gala that's what i'm talking about like she's versatile she's so cute um, yeah. Ah! I'm so excited about this. And then, Bottega. One thing, I already took it out of all of the dust bags. Also, got it from Rebag. But, I've always wanted these little, fuzzy, little bags. Oh! It just is so f***ing cute! Oh. So, I got this Bottega bag with the matching heels. And, they're really comfortable, surprisingly. I was really surprised that they were as comfortable as they were. Because... They're just like padding, but I just want to wear this maybe like a Jacques Mousse white dress drapey dress All black maybe all white something neutral with this as the pop with my Chanel earrings bitch ah! Or even just these earrings that I just got I just got these from Bruna the label they sent it to me, but <sighs> so excited. And this would even go in my outfit right now <laughs> But I'm so excited excited to wear these soon stay tuned for the instagrams because i feel like this is just this is what it looks like on the inside it's very small but i really love the fuzziness and i don't know if this is tmi but i have like really excessively sweaty hands what is it called hyperhidrosis i think that's what it's called i wasn't diagnosed by a doctor or anything but it's just something that i saw and i don't know like oh, i definitely have that but my hands are super sweaty to the point where like i'll take a pole dancing class and i can't go up because because my hands are too sweaty and I have to put little paste on it to make it less sweaty like hand deodorant so <laughs> this is gross but it's like fussy so it's like I don't know it's good and it feels good one thing that it really sucks having is or one downside of having like well there's lots of downsides like why the f am I so sweaty I know some people get Botox in their hands I've never gotten Botox or filler ever so it scares me but I've heard people get Botox in their hands and it does help because it is really annoying and when you have hyperhidrosis and your um hands are really sweaty apparently it's not good for the bags um this one influencer that I follow Tiffany she puts these twillies on her bags all the time which honestly I have to put I took it off because I don't know sometimes I feel like it doesn't go with my outfit when I have a bunch of patterns and stuff like that But she puts the twillies on because she found that her sweaty hands would like discolor the bags and it just doesn't look good It's not the vibes. It's just not the vibes. So yeah, I don't know what I have to do with my hands But I need to like cover my handles and I don't know just it's, it's nice that this one's like fuzzy But that's everything that I got in LA I'm so excited to be wearing all this new stuff stay tuned on my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting lots of stuff taking a little break right now but I have been posting a lot on snapchat so stay tuned on snapchat if you haven't added me yet add me on snapchat I just started getting back into it I used to be a rider die for snapchat like i would be posting all the time i would be posting everything it was in the king kylie era i was obsessed with it and like I've, a lot of you guys are already on it like i built a really good following on there already but if you're new here and you haven't seen me on snapchat within like the last year or two because i kind of stopped like a year or two ago i'm back on bitch add me make sure you got me if you're still on snapchat be watching my stories girl because i'm uploading almost every single day <laughs> but that's everything that i got for the holidays and everything that i got for christmas Christmas. Thank you to everyone, to my family, to my friends, to White Box, to Caroline, to everyone for this holidays because the holidays isn't about what you get for the for Christmas. It's about the people that you surround yourself with and I'm just so happy with being able to come home and spend time with the people that I love and the gifts are just like a bonus and just the cherry on top of the cake. And nobody make fun of my Christmas tree, okay? I know I didn't put ornaments on it and I know that there's no tree skirt, but I didn't have time, you guys. I came here a couple of days before Christmas. Okay, I barely had it in me and I got sick
sick. My sister got me sick, by the way. So I barely had it in me to put the Christmas tree up, but I did it just, just for you guys. And I wanted it for, how can you have Christmas without a Christmas tree? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I have been taking kind of a mini break on YouTube right now, and even just like social media in general. The only app that I've really been posting on kind of frequently is Snapchat. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to add me on Snapchat. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like Snapchat is having like a second win. This is just my Snapchat if you want to like screenshot it or add it. It's literally just my name. It's Adeline Morin, A-D-E-L-A-I-N-E, M-O-R-I-N. It's the only app that I've really been using. It's the only app that honestly doesn't drain me. I don't know. I feel like I've just been taking a tiny break from social media for now, but in the new year, we'll be coming back better than ever. And I think that's all you need. Everybody needs a little break during the holidays and just spending time with the family and spending time with friends and stuff like that. But I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And today's tip of the day goes to Kennedy Pug on Instagram. Her tip of the day says, the most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, and known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. I don't know. I love this tip of the day because I feel like in order to truly appreciate what you have, you have to not have it. I don't know. I feel like the reason why I'm such an appreciative person and I am such a happy person is because at one point I wasn't happy and I didn't have much. I feel like the universe is just obsessed with a grateful soul and the more that you're grateful for, the more the universe will give you to be grateful for. So just think of three things that you're grateful for every single day um, and it'll like just change your life. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Hopefully soon, but I love you. If not, I'll see you on Snapchat. But for now, I'll see you guys soon.